The original doll was the alleged title of a Britney Spears album that was set for release in 2005, yet was canceled under mysterious circumstances. The album germinated during the Onyx Hotel tour, where Spears said, I bought a new keyboard to take on my tour bus in Europe. I'm really looking forward to writing some new stuff while on the road. This quote in particular is important to point out because Britney wanting to become more involved in the writing process was a catalyst for Original Doll. Fans have speculated that Britney's agenda to do just that may have had something to do with what eventually happened to the mysterious album. Interestingly, Britney actually toured with a real band back in the early days. The first song for what was supposed to become Original Doll were rumored to be a collaboration with Britney and her band members Teddy Campbell, David Kochansky, and Gromkio Collins. The first of this collaboration was the infamous song Mona Lisa, which tells of an alter ego Britney may have had that, quote, helps her get things done. On December 30th, 2004, Britney made a surprise appearance on Los Angeles radio station KIISFM where she debuted a demo version of Mona Lisa. Britney also suggested that she hoped to release the said album sometime around 2005. Good luck with your album. It's untitled. It's, un it's probably going to be called The Original Doll. So. And it's half done? Yeah, it's halfway done right now. All right, so maybe by the summer, maybe yeah. by the fall. Yeah, maybe a little bit earlier. All right, and I know, I know everybody's going to want to hear the new single over and over, so I'm going to try to play as much as I can, okay? The new Mona Lisa. Hot. It's just a taste. Shortly after, however, Drive Records made an announcement downplaying Britney's statements, saying no album was scheduled for the moment and there were no plans to serve Mona Lisa to radio stations. Weeks later, Britney stated, I can't really say it's an album per se, but I have something going on and it's definitely a show. This may have been a reference to the reality show featuring Britney and soon-to-be husband Kevin Federline, or perhaps she was alluding to a tour documentary said to be called Entourage, which was later canceled. This announcement by Britney was the last known mention of any alleged album around this time. An insider later stated, The plans were shelved, adding, The media and record-buying public have been exposed to way too much Britney, and because of that, her album has been pushed to the 2006 release schedule. Instead, Britney will now try for a family and slowly but surely record new material. Now, the back and forth between Britney and her executive has caused confusion over the years regarding Original Doll and any potential songs made for it, leaving fans to speculate. One version of fan speculation states that the original doll was never anything more than Britney making an announcement to piss her team and label off. She was being told to do things she didn't want to do, so she went on the air and played a song that she felt would put her handlers, aka manager Larry Rudolph, in their place. She announced a fake album to really rub salt in the wound. The term the original doll is literally referring to her label, treating her as an object that could be replicated. Although still shrouded in hearsay and speculation, Original Doll has, or some version of it, has been confirmed by producers and co-writers of Britney. The concept of Original Doll was allegedly supported by producer Doug Elkins, who claimed that an entirely different and finished unreleased R&B and hip-hop-influenced album was later recorded by Spears in early to mid-2006. This included the leaked song Rebellion, another song called Red Hot Lipstick, as well as Otis Redding's cover of I've Been Loving You Too Long. Regarding what may have happened to Original Doll, a co-writer of Britney said, I think maybe they thought it was not close enough to her brand and that Britney's 2007 album In The Zone was the filtered down version of Original Doll or the more pop version. Britney wanted to make a record that was more vibey and more personal and honest, the co-writer stated. Ultimately, Spears still hoped her songs would have their day. I think she knew that she could come back to this project and these songs eventually. 
Another producer rumored to be on the project chimed in regarding the fanatic interest in Britney's lost album and made a very chilling statement, comparing Spears' unreleased song from these years to a final letter written by someone before they died, and that listeners hope to find clues in the lyrics to what Spears was thinking before her breakdown in 2007. In regard to the mysterious album, longtime manager Larry Rudolph said, We are not supporting, commenting on, or providing any information for a BS story with zero factual basis. Fans remain divided on the mystery behind Original Doll, some claiming that due to Britney's pregnancy and marriage to Kevin Federline, that the project was postponed or put on hiatus, never to be completed, or was scrapped entirely by Spears or by someone in her management. Exactly why still remains unknown, but hold on, the mythology of Original Doll doesn't stop there. Other theories are far more nefarious, suggesting that Original Doll was going to expose something in its lyrics and tone, as well as the project representing a more independent version of Britney, freed from the shackles of her record label and managers, hence why she was perhaps forced to scrap the project. Furthermore, the fact that Britney rebelled against Jive Records by taking control and announcing it herself on the radio may have angered the powers that be, forcing them to take back that exact control. Other theories suggest that Original Doll, although mostly scrapped, evolved later into the legendary Blackout album. Now, you might be asking yourself, other than the strange theories surrounding Original Doll, what's the point of speculating on such an obscure Britney Spears conspiracy theory? Well, I will lastly mention the leaked song by Britney known as Rebellion, which is a rabbit hole all on its own. The track was originally released by Britney on her website, only to be pulled by her record company shortly after. It's not only the lyrics of Rebellion that are ominous, but the song also marked Britney's second act of rebellion against the people in control, and after witnessing what unfolded in Britney's life in 2007, fans have speculated that Rebellion was a chilling window into the powers that sought to control her career as well as personal life. I will read the lyrics here for you, and a link to the song is provided in the description below. I strongly encourage you to give it a listen. The track gives me chills when I hear it, especially knowing what was to come for Britney in the next few years. Be wary of others, the ones closest to you. The poison they feed you and the voodoo that they do. But in rebellion, there's a sparkle of truth. Don't just stand there, do what you gotta do. You'll find it in rebellion, your body starts breathing. They're not believing what they're seeing, cause you're rebellion. You'll find it so compelling with everyone yelling because your soul you're not selling because you're rebellion. And with that, I leave you to make your own conclusions regarding the mystery behind Original Doll. Please let me know your com thoughts and comments down below and stay tuned for the next video.